What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Pisces Zodiac sign. We're going to uh, just do a quick reading for you guys. So let's dive in with the spell casting deck. Clarify the energy of Pisces Zodiac sign. Oh, what's coming out? Strength card. Okay. Strength card coming out here, bottom of the deck, is trust. Okay. So having a confidence, having the strength, having the courage to uh, move forward here with whatever this situation is, okay? Trusting in the universe, trusting in yourself, trusting in your intuition here. Guys, just remember this is a general reading, so this may not resonate. Energies are fluid and interchangeable, so they can cross. And if you need to, please flip them. Let's do one more shuffle. That was a bad shuffle. All right, there we go. Okay, let's see. Clarify the energy of Pisces. Whoa. So we have the Hermit in reverse, clarify the energy of Pisces, the Judgment card, and let's pull one more. Clarify the energy of Pisces, please. Going on with Pisces. Clarify the energy of Pisces. Whoa. And the Five of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck is Six of Wands energy. Okay. Success, promotion, forward movement, celebration, victory. So... Pisces, you need to come out of hiding, okay? You need to come out of this hermit energy here. Uh, for a lot of you, you're very comfortable being in this hermit energy, kind of like being the homebody um, and doing a lot of reflecting. But I see that come reversing, okay, because it's coming out in reverse. So once you step out of this, once you make this decision to come out of this hermit energy, um, you'll be able to move forward here and have this victory and success. But... I see this Five of Swords energy where um, it, it, the reason why you're uncomfortable to come out of this energy because there's a lot of loss that you've dealt with or there's a lot of resentment, okay? There's a lot of um, past battles that you had to go through that might not have went, went your way or went in your favor. And so um, being in this Hermit energy has been very comfortable for you. Um, but there's an opportunity for you to step out of your comfort zone here. Um, you just have to have the confidence and the strength to do to do that, okay? Could have a lot to do with a love, okay? We have happiness, love, and trust here at the bottom of this deck. So it could have a lot to do with happiness and love here. For a lot of you, you could be um, holding back or intimidated by stepping forward to falling in love again or stepping into a relationship or opening up to someone. I'm getting that as well. Um, but I see once you make that decision to open up, there's going to be success here. There's going to be abundance and victory um, for an opportunity for you. So let's pull the um, let's pull my little homemade deck here. Let's see what messages come through for you. All right. Clarify. What are the messages of Pisces? What is going on with Pisces here? What is going on with Pisces here? Okay, so I'm getting the energy that you were in in a lot of, you were really in love with someone, okay? Yeah, I will never love again is at the bottom of the deck. I will never love again. So you were really in love with someone. My love for you will never fade. See, you had a very strong and powerful connection with someone here, and I feel like you lost that um, with this person. And so you feel like you can't open up to anyone anymore because you were so hurt because I did see the Ten of Swords here. The Ten of Swords is here underneath this. So I feel like there was somebody that you were in a lot of, uh, very deeply in love with, and it didn't work out. Okay, it was some type of loss. Um, it was some type of disconnect here. The relationship just didn't work for whatever reason it didn't. Uh, we have Will You Marry Me? Okay, you could have been thinking about marrying this person, or you were hoping that this person would propose and marry you. And then we have, I had to let you go. You deserve better. And this may be why you're kind of stuck, why you don't want to move forward, because you don't quite understand why it didn't work. Like, it could have been one of those situations where uh, this person could have just not been ready and they walked away from you. Okay, or you could have walked away from them either, either way. Let's see if we can clarify the Five of Swords real quick. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces. The King of Pentacles. See, there was a very stable relationship at one point. Something that was to the point where you seen um, that you could build with this person. That you could um, create a 
stable lifestyle with this person. You've seen a lot of wealth, a lot of uh, stability, a lot of success, a lot of abundance with this um, connection at one point. But it just didn't work out. You thought it was everything that you wanted, but it just didn't work out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, this person could have been... Um, you might have been more committed to this person than this person was to you. Because I do have the Knight of Wands energy. They could have been a player, just not ready to settle down. But it, to me, I'm getting that you were truly in love with this person. Or there was a very love connection, a deep love connection with this person. You were looking at it as somebody that you could grow old with and you could create a family with, settle down with. But um, they just weren't ready. They weren't ready for that type of commitment. Again, I had to let you go. You deserve better. They realized that they weren't the best choice for you. And so that's why they walked away. Um, so let's see. Let's do, for your energy, let's do the soul's journey card. To end you off. Clarify the energy of Pisces. What is the message you have for Pisces? What advice? What advice do you want to give Pisces here? Thank you. So we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Okay. So again, that's the second time that you got the trust card. So trust your intuition. Trust that inner voice that you have within you that um, told you to walk away from a situation or that kept you um, from a situation uh, moving further along. Like, uh, for example... This person that walked away or this relationship that ended, it ended because this person realized that they were going to hurt you more in the long run than they were doing now. And so that's why they walked away. So just trust that the universe did that for a reason, that the things happen for a reason. You know, everything happens for a reason and for a purpose. And so just remember that, that one day you will be able to be happy again. It's just um, you have to have the strength and the courage and the confidence to move on from this and to let go and be willing to open up to new love opportunities, okay? Um, again, if you're not ready, that's fine. Just take some time. Focus on healing. Focus on, uh, focus on yourself. But um, don't don't just count love out and say, no, I'll never find find love again. You will. You will. Just right now, you may not be able to see it just yet, and that's okay. Uh, but this this is your reading, Pisces. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight, guys. I appreciate you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.